So in this section of Job, we get introduced to the God of thunder. Next week we'll learn that God literally comes in a whirlwind, in a storm. But today what we hear is God drawing close. God drawing closer and closer as God's voice thunders louder and louder. Hear these words from Job 37, 1 through 18. At this also my heart trembles and leaps out of its place. Listen, listen to the thunder of God's voice and the rumbling that comes from God's mouth. Under the whole heaven, God lets it loose and God's lightning to the corners of the earth. After it, God's voice roars. God thunders with God's majestic voice and God does not restrain the lightnings when God's voice is heard. God thunders wondrously with God's voice. God does great things that we cannot comprehend. For to the snow, God says, fall on the earth. And the shower of rain, God's heavy shower of rain, serves as a sign on everyone's hand, so that all whom God has made know may know it. Then the animals go into their lairs and remain in their dens. From its chamber come the whirlwind and cold from the scattering winds. By the breath of God, ice is given and the broad waters are frozen fast. God loathes the thick clouds with moisture. The clouds scatter God's lightning. They turn round and round by God's guidance to accomplish all that God commands them on the face of the habitable world. Whether for correction or for God's land or for love, God causes it to happen. I invite you to close your eyes, to breathe in, and to breathe out. I invite you to think about that. I want you to picture the storm that is most in your imagination, that storm that you have in your heart that you remember with everything in you. I invite you to rest there in that storm, in that thunder, in God's voice. God, we hear your voice thunder. We hold close those who suffer from storms and droughts. We hold close those in Africa, the Western United States, the Gulf. God, we hear your voice thunder. We hold close all species that suffer. We hold close the diversity lost in the rainforest, the coral reefs, and individual animals like tigers and polar bears, turtles and gorillas, elephants and birds. God, we hear your voice thunder. We hold close world leaders delegated to make decisions for life. We pray for right action. We pray for courageous actions. God, we hear your voice thunder. We hold close our black brothers and sisters as they feel yet more pain. We hold close those who fear being shot in their homes, in cars, in stores, walking down their block. We hold close their pain, their fear, and their anger. God, we hear your voice thunder. We hold close the 200,000 families who have lost someone to the coronavirus. We hold close those who are ill with COVID-19, with cancer, with chronic illness. We hold close those who are having trouble breathing because of the smoke. God, we hear your voice thunder. Hold our families close as we lift those on our hearts up to you. And God, as we hear your voice thunder, we ask you to hold us close. You know those places of pain that are deep within us. You know those places where we need your healing presence. God, we ask your voice to thunder into our presence and hold us close. God, may we hear your voice thunder of a love that can transform us and a world made new with each step of love. Amen.